crawling all around me, don't need you crawling all around me. Crawling all around me, don't need you crawling all around me. Crawling all around me, don't need you crawling all around me. Crawling all around me, me. Yeah, buddy. It's Remy Live in HD. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. We about to get straight into it. Today I want to talk to you guys about three letters. MVP. MVP. What is an MVP? MVP is most valuable player. I'm not talking about sports, but I am talking about a game. I'm talking about a game called life. And in this game, you guys need to always keep in your mind that I'm the MVP. Why is that so important? It's so important because keeping this consciousness will guide your decisions better. Because you always got a choice on how you're going to respond to certain situations. But if you always ask yourself, when trouble hit, when drama hit, when all this hit, what approach am I going to take to answering this? What approach am I going to take to responding to this? You need always respond with the mindset of, I'm the most, most valuable player in this situation. You need to respond like, I'm the, I'm the MVP of the situation, so I need to do what an MVP would do. I need to do what the best version of me would do. Because there's always alternatives. You know, you can respond in a scenario like your worst self. Like somebody that don't have nothing to lose. Or you can respond like the best version of yourself. A lot of people be like, you know, when pressure hit, when drama hit, when, when tight times, tough times hit, people be like, what did Jesus do? A lot of people don't even know Jesus for real. So it ain't like all of us know Jesus and, and acquainted with Jesus and, and tight with Jesus and understand Jesus and follow Jesus like, And a lot of people that claim Jesus don't even know him. So it's like, mm -mm. don't go off the what would Jesus do part. Because we don't even know him that well, for real. One thing we do know, he stayed on his assignment. He stayed on his task. He ain't let nothing distract him. He got weak and got back focused. We do know that. But in your everyday life, you got to look at yourself like you're the most valuable player in this situation. Not somebody else. Not someone's opinion. Not somebody else's standard on you. Not somebody else's expectation to you. You are the most valuable player in a scenario. When you're in situations that look kind of finicky, when you're in situations where you look kind of vulnerable, when you don't know what to do sometimes, the best thing to do is nothing. Don't respond. When you don't know what to do, don't do nothing. When you don't know what to say, don't say nothing. Because pressures will come. And pressure is going to continue to come. But your approach to a situation or a scenario need always be. I need to respond with my greatest version. And we're not about to act like we haven't been at optimal levels before. You might not be there now. You might, but it's been times in your life where you did your thing. You know what I'm saying? It had to be. You know what I mean? Or else you wouldn't be here. If 
If you weren't an overcomer, you wouldn't be here anyway. I wouldn't be talking to you. So it's been times in life where you've leveled up, where you responded correctly, where you dominated the, 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 the scenario in a proper way. Go to that person. Go to that high performer. Go to that person that understood themselves, were balanced in their own mind. Go to that person. And continue to replicate that person. Especially in hard times. Especially in testy situations. What would the MVP me do in a scenario like this? And if you take that approach, your decision making is going to follow. Even though you might not necessarily know all the answers, what to do and all stuff, but take that approach. I'm going to answer like I'm this. Because the being is more important than the doing or having. The being who you are, when you do what you do, is going to determine what you end up with. What version of yourself you're going to be in that tight situation? That's the question. Who are you going to choose to be in that situation? You can be that, uh, or you can be that, uh. Who you going to be? That needs to be determined before you make one single move. You know? So, MVP. You are the MVP of your world. You are the MVP of your scenario. You need to carry it like that. Two Rebel TV, get the caps, bam, bam, bam. Let me know. I get these interviews popping. You will see them when they when they drop. So yeah, I just want to drop that little tidbit on y'all real quick. What would the best version of me do? What is the best version you're going to do? After this is all over with, after this scenario is over with, what am I going to be left with? Take that approach. After all the smoke clears, what am I going to be left with and how am I going to feel? Work your way from the goal backwards. Work your way from satisfied, satisfied backwards. You might be unsatisfied now, but work your way. Envision yourself as satisfied at the end of this and work your way backwards. Reverse engineer it backwards when it comes to most of your decisions. And you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So that's what I got for you right now. Whatever. MVP. Like, subscribe. You got any comments, questions, or concerns? Leave them in the, um, the comment box down below. I will get at you guys. Hit the notification bell. We got some more videos coming up. And uh, I will holler at you on the next one. Peace.